All right, let's settle this once and for all, kinetic energy versus potential energy. Who's the real superstar of the physics world? I'm breaking it down student style, so buckle up and let's dive in. First up, kinetic energy. Think of it as the energy of movement. If you're running down the hallway because you're late for class, you've got kinetic energy. It's all about motion. The faster or heavier something is, the more kinetic energy it packs. So, a speeding skateboard, tons of kinetic energy. A parked car, zero. Now, let's switch gears to potential energy. This is the energy of position, or as I like to call it, energy waiting to happen. Imagine holding your backpack up high. You haven't dropped it yet, but if you let go, gravity will take over. That's potential energy becoming kinetic energy. It's like a roller coaster at the very top of the track. Just before it zooms down, all the energy is stored up, ready to burst into action. Here's the twist. Kinetic and potential energy are always playing tag. Drop your backpack and as it falls, potential energy turns into kinetic. When it hits the ground and stops, kinetic energy is gone. But you might hear a thud or feel a bounce. That's energy changing forms again. Why does this matter? Well, energy transformations power everything around us. From the food you eat to the phone in your hand, it's all energy swapping between different forms. Even video games, when your character jumps, runs or falls, the game is simulating these energy changes. So, is kinetic energy better than potential? Not really. They're two sides of the same coin. Without potential energy stored up, there'd be no movement. And without kinetic energy, nothing would ever happen. It's teamwork. The secret sauce behind every jump, bounce, roll and swing. Next time you're sprinting across the field, riding your bike or just chilling at the top of a slide, remember? It's all about energy in action and energy in waiting. Kinetic and potential, battling it out, making life more exciting. Thanks for tuning in. If you learned something cool, hit that like and subscribe for more student-friendly science.